Alright, we're gonna see a <laughs> Trivium play against Queens. The game is about to begin. It's gonna be Lesti Abject and Violet coming up against the the Queens lineup, which is Stray, Squiz, and Raz. Uh, the Queens guys are on defense at first. It looks like the slow paced attack coming in from uh, coming in from Trivium. They're gonna try and take out the guy at main. Squiz does loop around from side, but it's not gonna happen. As he's gonna decide to kill out instead. Uh, the move from Dyla coming in from the side. As uh, gonna get a headshot onto, onto Squiz. Maybe he's gonna be able to take him down. He got a bit of support from Stray from, from the corner of inside main, so. Again, Queen's setting up quite well on this first stage. Managing to hold off the, uh, the Trivium pushes. Two man push coming towards main, and Nade has gone down to try and cover that push. And they're not going to be able to make it inside just yet. A bit of damage going off from Dean as he makes it into that corner area. Dyla, an object in support of uh, Dean, who is the engineer. Uh, Abject's going to get off a bit of damage. Maybe going to be able to take down Raz. He does. He's going to be able to push back for the ammo. As uh, Abject is going to help Dyla out of main. He's going to need to respawn of the engineer to come in. Watching Abject here. He's uh, trying to get some pre shoots in. Dyla does take down Squiz at side. We can even see just watching Dyla's game that he's getting some frame lag. Pushing into the side area. He's going to be able to take down Raz though. And it's just uh, straight in the corner. And he should have to push on. Obviously, no mines in 3 on 3. Lefty is going to be able to get that, that tank built up. He's going to be able to get away. Uh, the strike comes in just a bit too late and destroys it. So Queens have lost this first stage within the first two minutes. Lesti picking up that double frag on the respawn. And Squiz, last man alive, is going to get taken down. Uh, with Raz trying to get that Gibbon on their medic. It's not going to happen. And it looks like the Trivium team are going to take control of this back spawn as well. We're going to watch Dean. He's going to try and set up, maybe build that CP up. He is indeed abject. Fully set up on this hill. Um, on this hill? On this bridge. I'm trying to get in some damage on the Axis. Pushing towards that barrier. He is going to put on quite a lot of damage on towards Stray. He's going to get taken down. Gibb comes in as well. And that's Celeste and uh, Abject Crossfire taking down these two players. And uh, last man alive is Squiz for the Axis. He's going to try and uh, just slow them down. So we're probably going to see a truck barrier build come in. No, didn't, didn't hit up that charge up too uh, quick enough. As we see, uh, Abject get another kill. Faye's going to come behind Abject. Not going to be able to take him down. And, uh, the, the, the Polish player manages to, to escape. And so far, so good for the Trivium team. They have managed to get the, the tank past the tank barrier. And, uh, it's still moving forward. Raz is going to stick with that um, Kovi. They need to get that spam on the bridge. They want to destroy that tank if they can. It looks like Lefty is going to be able to get into position before that's able to happen. It looks like a double kill comes in for uh, Abject there. He actually shut down both Raz and Squiz, pushing towards that CP to try and get it destroyed. As uh, Abject now again pushes. Um, waiting for his teammates to get into position. Does look like Queens are out for a, a little while. Straight at this first start, just trying to hold it off, but Dida is going to get shut down. He's going to get that quick pick up. Some nice teamwork at first arch. Going to take on Raz now. I'm not going to be able to take him down. The objective has been picked up by Abject though, and you're going to see the lean come out from Squiz. He's not going to be able to get that nade kill off, and it looks like Abject's going to be able to get make it home with uh, with the objective into the back of the truck. This is. Potentially going to be an amazing time set. As you see, they haven't got an engineer. They're not going to be able to build that barrier. They are kind of push forward to try and slow that truck down a little bit. It's going to keep creeping forward. Uh, pistol frag does come out from Abject. And the uh, truck is going to move past the barrier now. Dyla gets that headshot onto Raz and he's going to keep the truck moving. Great stuff from, from Dyla. Lesty does respawn back in. But he's going to get take. Oh, double frag from Lesty. And the truck is going to move on. Really, really great stuff from 
the Trivium lineup. The nade does somehow make it behind the truck. I've got no idea what was going on with that nade. And Celeste is still escorts this truck through. As you see, a great um, pistol uh, frag comes out. Oh no, it was ab actually Abject who picked up that frag. And uh, Stray is going to see what he can do. It, but this is going to be a sub six minute time here on Gold Rush, which is really, really impressive. And Queens struggling to get a real foothold in the, in the games that we've seen him play so far. Uh, they, they picked up a really nice full hold. Big, big nade comes out from Dyla, but 5 minutes 28. Very, very impressive. And we're going to pick up the scores. As we see, uh, 12 kills come out for Abject. 7 for Dyla. Uh, but it was... It was, all the, it was all the action at CP by those guys. They, they picked up the, the, the tank pretty quick. But what can you say? Ice Q. Ice Q. I think you got the arrows the wrong way, mate. You got the arrows the wrong way. I let you off. I let you off. <laughs> okay, so we got uh, Queens. Not picking up many frags. Raz struggling Prepare to, to get to finish off those that bit of damage. I mean, he was getting 400 damage a kill. You expect to get more kills than 3 out of 1,200 damage, really. So, uh, it's now going to be up to Queens to mount an amazing attack. They have to pull off something just spectacular. They have to push in main. They have to get this this on the first push. And there's going to be nades in the hands of the Axis. You can see a nade coming through main. Uh, Raz went a bit too aggressive. Abject is in position. He's going to be able to take one down. Nice shooting from Squeers. Brilliant stuff. He's going to have to deal with one more player on this side area. They may be able to build up the build on the tank. Straight is going to get taken down. Dyna picks up that double frag. The revive comes in. Brilliant revive from, from Raz. And Dyna picks up the three kill. But that's going to be it. The tank is going to be in the allied hands. They've got one chance. One very, very small chance to get this uh, get this map won. And they're off to a great start. Building that tank very, very quickly. And uh, they see Dyna pick up a bundle of frags. Though, uh, that tank area is going to continue with, uh, with a couple more. As... Uh, Gonna be now an object, I believe, at, at, the, at the truck barrier, at the tank barrier, even. Just trying to slow them down a bit, frustrate them, shake your screen. Unless he's decided to go for CP over barrier. Four minutes twenty remaining in the game, and the tank isn't getting uh, escorted any further. He knows there's someone around. He's heard the footsteps. Raz is gonna actually take him down. And uh, they've been the Queen's guys have been, been given a lot of freedom in this area. They've managed to move the tank really unhindered and no no spam coming up to destroy the tank and they've been given a really big chance to win. Uh, and it, it's pretty uh, pretty amazing to be honest. Big artillery though comes down. Dyla gets kinda of fortunate with that artillery fire. And uh, it destroys the tank. I don't think it actually did destroy the tank. But uh, it is going to be destroyed now. Uh, if it wasn't before, it was before. Okay. So three minutes 30 left on the clock. Uh, uh, artillery got that two man, and the engineer and the medic. And the engineer by himself straight. It is going to get shut down as well. And it's going to be Squiz on that Kovi. I think he should respawn. For his teammates. Okay, pushing forward, trying to get in a bit of damage on that respawn. But two Axis players are taken out for. Five or so seconds, but it's gonna just force them. Yeah, it's gonna take a couple of seconds to get back into position. As uh, I'm gonna try and watch Stray, he's actually gonna opt to go for that CP over the, the tank itself. I need to get that tank into position, of course. I'm not sure where the, uh, the allies are hiding. They have had troubles, we've, we've noticed, with the escort part of the map. Straight is taken down there. I think he might be out on full spawn. He is not. So this is uh, this is probably their last chance, real chance, to push forward and get the uh, and get the tank. See a truck barrier build here for the Axis would almost seal it for them. Straight is taken out once more, and it looks like Trivium uh, are gonna be able to get the victory here. They had a, such a good attack uh, they didn't really give a. Uh, too much of an opportunity to Queens, although they lost the first stage very quickly. Queens, uh, 
slow down too much the stages, uh, the, ta the tank transport stage. And now getting bogged down in the, in the open around this uh, lighthouse area. Uh, this is a lighthouse, I'm pretty sure. There's, there's, there's definitely an ocean near here. Uh, you see Stray trying to build the tank up. Kills do come in for Dialer and Abject. Raz Last Man Alive gets dropped as well. And it is indeed going to be a map win. And a game victory for uh, for Trivium. And this group is shaping up to be very, very close. Very close indeed. The game we've got up next is going to be Chromic against uh, Talented. It's the only game we're going to be specking, uh, watching of these two teams. I try and get every team in the group stage if I can. In the, at least in the, seven, in the round three, because there's seven games I cast, so it's not too hard. In the 6 on 6 however, it is actually quite difficult to get all three teams and stick with the quality games. So I do apologise to 8-bits for the hat in the 6 on 6 because they will not be casted uh, in, the, in the group stage. At least not live. If they, if they win a game, I'm, I'm happy to cast that offline. They put up a good fight. So that is going to be a, a game win for Trivium. As like I said before, this is a best of one. They have broken into the uh, next game we're going to see will be on delivery, I think. I think if I recall, it's delivery. Oh, maybe it's Frostbite. I think it's Frostbite. Between Chromic and Talented. And uh, I'm going to bring up the scores of this game for you. And I'll give you the overlay of the, the game, game's upcoming and, and how everything's sat in Group B currently. So looking at the stats, 18 frags for Squiz, 10 apiece for Stray and Raz. And we see Dyla pick up 25 frags, 4.2k damage. Abject slightly behind, as well as Lesty.